My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. You are welcome to episode number 63 of the 120 Days to Down Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at critical angle and total internal reflection. Critical angle and total internal reflection. I'm sure you might have heard one or two things or you might have heard the term total internal reflection. Let's start with critical angle. What is critical angle? If you'll be following the class, refraction, refraction, I told you that if you have a plane surface like this, or this is a boundary between air and water, if a ray of light is incident this way, so this is the incident ray, and the angle between incident and here, this is the normal, this is the normal, this is the incident angle. Since light travels at different speeds in different medium, as it changes medium, it will tend to bend. So if it's moving from less dense to a more dense medium, it will bend towards the normal, like this. So the new angle form is called angle of refraction, and this is your refracted ray. Now, I said in a case whereby this is a boundary, let's call here glass, and let's call here a. You notice that this is a denser medium and this is a less dense medium. So if a light is incident like this, now since, and this is your incident angle, this is your normal. Since light is moving from a thicker to a less thick or from a denser to a rarer medium, it will not bend towards the normal. It will bend away from the normal. Let's say it goes this way like this so at this point this is the refracted angle of refraction this is the refracted ray when you place it at this angle it goes here there is an, an angle the incident will be placed let's say you have something like this let's say the incident is probably bent to somehow somehow like this angle of incidence then you see that the refracted uh, angle will bend for that. Let's say like this. Now you have a bigger re angle of refraction. Something like this is possible. Your angle of incidence, your normal. Now, it will refract like this. Like this. So this is now your Angle of refraction. This angle you are seeing like this, like this, it has now pushed up to 90 degrees. So this your angle of refraction is now 90 degrees. Your refracted ray is now here. Your refracted ray. So it has pushed. This is let's say glass. This is let's say a. This is your incident ray. And this is your refracted ray. So your angle of refraction is now 90 degrees. So this incident angle that will make angle of refraction to be 90 degrees is called critical angle. So the angle of incident is equals critical angle. When angle of incident becomes critical angle, the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. So let me summarize. This is angle of incident. This is angle of refraction. This is angle of incidence. This is angle of refraction. For this angle of incidence, the angle of refraction is not 90 degrees. It is pushing towards this side, right? For this angle of incidence, the angle of refraction is bigger, right? But it is not 90 degrees. So this angle of incidence is not a critical angle. When you shift to an angle of incidence, that will now make this angle of refraction to be 90 degrees 
or the angle of incidence that we bend this ray, this refracted ray, to exactly 90 degrees is called the critical angle. So, what is critical angle? Critical angle is the angle of incidence at which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. So, at critical angle, is uh, angle of incidence is equals critical angle. So, what is total internal reflection? If you understand critical angle, then you've understood total internal reflection. If this refracted ray goes beyond the critical angle, there will not be refraction. Refra uh, there will not be refraction here at all. No refraction. Imagine this guy here like this goes up a little like this above greater than 90 degrees we say total internal reflection has taken place when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle there is no longer refraction here and you see that at this denser medium reflection begin to occur that is total internal reflection when the angle of incidence exceeds the critical angle we no longer experience refraction here instead it moves towards this top you begin to see certain small small reflected rays reflected rays begin to appear instead of refraction taking place at such we say oh no that is total internal reflection and there are beautiful applications of total internal reflection around the first one is obviously optical fiber that's one of the major applications of total internal reflection optical fiber is simply a thin glass thread of high refractive index it is used for transmitting electromagnetic wave that is light and radio waves it is used in medicine and it is also used in telecommunication now optical fiber is used in telecommunication because of its small size and weight optical fiber is used in telecommunication because of its small size and weight examination question there is what we call light guide it is a flexible material made from bundles of optical fiber there is also uh, something called the uh, endoscope it is a light guide with objective lens at one eye and eye piece on the other it is used for medicine and surgical industry now the second application of total internal reflection that you will find interesting is submarine periscope this is simply where the mirrors in simple periscope are replaced by right angled isosceles prism this is to prevent the occurrence of multiple images and deterioration associated with mirrors appearance of shiny objects example diamond is an application of total internal reflection rainbow are application of total internal reflection binoculars or short telescopes are application of total internal reflection bicycle reflectors are application of total internal reflection fish view underwater is an application of total internal reflection then point of note mirage mirage is also called cat's eye on roads it is an optical illusion of reflecting pool of water on road surface it is associated with hot desert or hot road waves at a distance it can be explained by refraction and total internal reflection but it is more of refraction than total internal reflection once again applications of total internal reflection optical fiber submarine telescope appearance of shiny objects e.g diamonds binoculars or short periscopes rainbows bicycle reflectors fish view uh, feed of view underwater these are applications of total internal reflection and this formula will be very helpful to you refractive inverse is equals one over sine c where c is critical angle 
So reflective index is inversely proportional to sine of critical angle. That means sine of critical angle is equal to one of our refractive index, which means the critical angle, or you can use theta c like this, is equals. Let me use theta c. Theta c is sine inverse of one over refractive index. So refractive inverse is one of our sine critical angle. Let's see a few questions from the flash learners application under our critical angle and total internal reflection. The first one, yes, is for total internal reflection to occur, A, the angle of incidence in the denser medium must be less than the critical angle. The angle of incidence in the denser medium must be lesser than the critical angle. No, that is wrong. We said that for total internal reflection to occur, the angle of incidence, incident angle, must be greater than critical angle. So that is the condition. Option A is opposite of what is true. B, light must be traveling from an optically more dense to a optically less dense medium. Yes, for total internal refl reflection to occur, one of the conditions is that light must tra be traveling from a more dense to a less dense medium. Option B is correct. But let's see what C and D has to say. C says light must be traveling from an optically less dense medium to an optically more dense medium. C is saying that for total internal reflection to occur, light must travel from less dense to denser. No, it must be from denser to less dense. C is wrong. And D says the angle of incidence must be equal to critical angle. For total in uh, internal reflection to occur, the angle of incidence won't be equals critical angle. No. Instead, the angle of incidence will be greater than the critical angle. So, option B is the correct option. Calculate the critical angle for light traveling from glass to air. The refractive index of the glass is equals 5 over 30. We are asked to look for critical angle and i told you that refractive index is one over sine of critical angle and i told you that critical angle theta c is equals sine inverse of one over refractive index so the critical angle is simply sine inverse of 1 over 5 over 3. That's simply the answer. 1 over 5 over 3, that will simply be 3 over 5. Yes, so this is sine inverse of 3 over 5. And sine inverse of 3 over 5 is 36.9. So your critical angle is 36.9. Option D is the correct option. If the refractive index of crown glass is 1.15, crown glass refractive index is 1.51 rather, what is the critical angle? Critical angle is always sine inverse of 1 over refractive index. And that is sine inverse of 1 over 1.51. That is the answer. And that will give you 41.5 degrees. That is your critical angle. Critical angle. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it under uh, critical angle and total internal reflection. I do hope you've learned one or two things. And if you have issue with how to look for sine, cos, these three ratios without calculator or with calculators, so always to make it easier, follow the mathematics playlist. The physics playlist is less. Um, deep into basis of calculations because i've done that in the mathematics series which is complete so follow the mathematics series and physics together mathematics will strengthen your calculation ability physics will do justice to every other thing subscribe to this channel please and tell your friends about the flash tenants youtube videos 
they are going to find it interesting as well. Get the flash notifications on your videos are stores. Install and practice questions. Reach out to me if you have inquiries and questions. See you in the next episode.